Hello, beautiful Virgos. How are you today? We're here with your love reading. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus of Virgo. Everything you need to know about the contest or a personal reading is in the description box below. All right, so let's see what we have here for our Virgo friends in love. Virgo, you are invested in someone. Seven of Pentacles. We have nice, a nice little, you know, a a beautiful little investment here. You're nurturing it. You're checking it out. You're feeding it. We have seven coins here. You've invested some time in a person that you really care about. It hasn't really fully manifested yet. The sevens are very spiritual cards. You're probably feeling very spiritual at this time, very philosophical, you know, trying to stay practical about this relationship. Virgo energy, nice. Okay, so let's see. That is actually Taurus energy. Now we have Virgo energy. Virgo, look at you. You want to currently learn something more. It looks as though when it comes to a love interest or your love life at large, you really feel as though you, you need to learn something else that's going to help you be successful. That is the journeyman, apprentice journeyman master, and you're at the almost mastery level. But it does look like you're seven to eight. Nice, nice progression. So it looks as though something you invested in in the recent past is starting to pay off, starting to come to fruition, but more within yourself. A, a deeper level of understanding of what you need and how to get it and how do we get there from here sort of energy. How you view the situation that you're in, Virgo, is that you feel as though you've had conflict with somebody. And that this conflict, is, it, this is great. <laughs> the Five of Swords conflict says that your person has been sort of, a lot, you know, really upset about a lot of conflict with you for a long time. They're down here saying, Virgo, if you can see that little person back there, Virgo, what are you doing? You hurt me. You made me bleed. You know, who who are you? Why are you doing this? What did I do to deserve this? And so what's interesting here, Virgo, is that in the past, it appears that you didn't really think that you were a part of this dynamic. You really sort of blamed it on this other person. And now what we're seeing is this growth into this crow is picking at your hair kind of you know saying you know it takes two to fight it takes two to love it takes two to tango and so the reality of what you're seeing now is different ways that you have brought conflict into relationships and it's ego centered the five fives tend to be very ego centered conflict and conflict that doesn't get you anywhere it's it's not as though there's a resolution here so how do you feel about the situation in your heart space or how do you view the situation? You view it as something you want to invest in. This is really good. We go from the seven to the eight to the single coin means that you would you do want to invest in this relationship. What's interesting here is if we get the this is eight and one is nine of pentacles so the nine of pentacles is being successful single person so we'll just see if it comes out it's just sort of fun to watch the trends as they unfold so let's see in your heart space where you're feeling oh look at this virgo you feel very passionately in love with somebody who you see as a very ideal partner you see this person is very spiritual, beautiful inside, beautiful outside. The Eight of Wands, as you see this person moving ahead in their life, they're really blazing trails, they have a lot of energy, and you find that immensely attractive. This is Sagittarius energy, it's somebody who is open-minded, free-thinking, who accepts other cultures and other ways of thinking. Aquarius energy, and we're in the new moon of Aquarius today, and so we're speaking of someone who thinks in a much larger way about life itself, the universe. You see this person as absolutely a rock star, somebody with whom, you know, you feel very attracted to Virgo. This is, you know, feeling passionately attracted to this person's mind, their heart, their spirit, that it really turns you on. How do you view the situation at this time, Virgo? Let's see. 
How do you view the situation? Let's see. Ooh, the chariot card. You're going to take action. This is Cancerian energy. You want to go in and you want to nurture this relationship. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> I like that card. You know, it's when we rush to see somebody that we care about. It's when we're able to balance our yin-yang energy, our dark, uh, you know, our shadow side with our light side. So it really looks as though, Virgo, you have been working on yourself, your spirit, you know, the things that have held you back in life. You're really... Can, you're conducting this like really beautiful self-inventory right now of looking at how to find love, the mistakes of the past versus the successes that are inevitable in your future. Virgo, you are the problem solvers of the Zodiac, so of course you would figure this out, right? I want to be happy. I want to enjoy my life. I want all this beauty and passion and love and warmth, and I want it now, and I want to know what I can do to get it. Three of Pentacles, okay. The Three of Pentacles speaks to the fact that what is hidden in your energy, Virgo, is this desire to really have a person that you can collaborate with. Now, people that you can collaborate with are people who can go to a third source. You know, it looks like a mother, a father, and a, and a child here. But what we see is this could be the two of you going to the paint store. This could be, usually it's an engineer, an architect that's helping you bring something to fruition. Again, Virgo, look at all of this coin. You have, you want a very grounded relationship that you can count on. We have now four cards of coins, okay? So let's look and see what Spirit is recommending at this time for you, Virgo. Go for it. Spirit is saying Aries Queen. Ooh, that is absolutely. It's imperative that you take action. Make your own magic. Believe in yourself. You know, get your mojo riled up. You're feeling hot. You're feeling passionate to act on that and to actually let somebody know that you really love them. You need to go see them. You need to talk to them. You need to let them know how you really feel. So that's the plan that is developing for you. When we look at the, the chariot card, it's Cancerian energy, but it's the Emperor Aries energy that's driving the stagecoach, the chariot, and the Emperor is married, quote unquote, you know, this is Aries energy and the Queen of Wands is Aries energy. So it's about nurturing through action. The Ten of Wands says that you're going to give up the baggage from the past. You know, when we see this, this person has traveled a long distance. This is what you are doing, Virgo. You've traveled a long distance and along the way you kept dropping off things that you didn't need. And so you're at this beautiful time of culmination, of really having yourself pared down. You, you're only bringing with you what you really need. But you know, even though this looks like a long journey, you can see that she's carrying the suitcase. The ox is there very steadily with her. To me, this is, you know, we look at Ten of Wands, it's Sagittarius energy. So you really have made a ninth house philosophical change in what you regard as burdens and what you don't. So when we look at Sagittarius energy, we're looking at that, the higher mind, the higher levels of thinking, not just thinking about the mundane. So Sagittarius energy is quite beautiful. It's really the acceptance of different ideas that in the past you've probably rejected. Okay, look at this. Oh, your person loves you. Your person loves you and you love them. Okay, so you have, you're very much in your feels about this relationship. You're starting to really become much more aware of how you feel, to emote more deeply, to feel as though your emotions create an investment that, you know, in the past you were more practical. Well, I mow the lawn on Saturday, so that's my investment. No, no. Now it's like my emotions are my investment. So let's see how you feel currently. That's in the recent past. You feel, you understand understand now why it's so important to invest emotionally. So the current energy, oh here, I knew it. Okay. Remember I said I will not be surprised if I see a nine coming out here. Now I thought it would be the nine of pentacles, but this one's even better. We have that your investment one and eight equals nine. Your 
your daily, the daily things that you do in your relationship now, Virgo, are paying off. Celebration, nine. So we get a nine. One and eight is nine. We get the nine of cups. Your wish, you have wish fulfillment. This is the fairy godmother, fairy godfather of the tarot deck. It is Piscean energy. It's a pot of gold, you know, in the middle of the sunshine. And it's all about the leap into the air. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I did this. I did the right thing. I found the path. I followed my intuition. It's a very powerful energy of happiness and joy from the investment and the things that you've learned in your life. What do we have? What is Spirit going to tell us about this Five of Swords awareness that you have about being, you know, you cause some of your own troubles in relationships. World card, closing out the cycle, closing out the cycle. Beautiful. And that is a beautiful, successful cycle. You know, one thing as a tarot reader that I really like to, to really emphasize here is that the world card is the highest level of achievement in the tarot deck. Okay, so it's really important not to just go, well, a door closed and another one opens. Oh, this is like, well, where do I go? Because I just won the Academy Award. You know, I just succeeded at something that was very important to me. So it is a level of achievement that is, you know, very, very well grounded. It's it's a combination of all of the elements, you know. When we get the, the fire, you know, we get earth, we get air, and we get water. You're very, it's a balance here. She's balancing on this wheel. She's balancing on the top of the earth. You know, you can see the earth right here. All right, so let's see. Oh, look at this. Oh, Virgo, you're still holding back. You feel fearful. So even though it looks like you're moving into this more emotive um, energy, how other people view you is that you're still in this energy of holding back. So what appears to be the case here is that you haven't really demonstrated this outwardly. You're about to. But so far, this has been an inner journey that you've been going on. It doesn't look as though the people that matter or this, whoever the star card is or whoever the eight of wands is, you have not really shared this with them. They still see you as a person who's not very invested at all in the relationship. In fact, if you add the one and the four of pentacles, it's a five of pentacles, which means your person feels very left out in the cold by you. So, you know, it's important to look at that energy. Why do you, what's going on with your person in terms of how you're feeling about what should be done at this time? What's the clarification? You haven't done anything, see? Okay, so that just really tells me. You're coming in as Eight of Swords energy. You feel all up in your head. You don't know really what to do. You feel as though your hands are tied. So there has been some communication probably during a an argument or a fight or a breakup or something that makes you feel as though you're very confused as to what should be done. Self-imposed restrictions. So no wonder your person feels left in the cold. They do feel as though you care. They do understand that you're not a person that freely shares their emotions, but still they view you as a lightweight. You know, we get the Page of Cups. A Page of Cups is very darling, but, you know, it's kind of a teenage boy, and adult women don't really tend to like teenage boys too much. And, you know, we see that you have in your heart space, you know, we see this little hand over here that you and your person really have this strong, heartfelt, sort of very innocent, childlike love for one another. But right now, your person has no expectation that you'll come through for them. And I want to remind everybody, especially those new to tarot, this can be a vice versa reading, okay? So it's important to remember that. This is when pigs fly. So basically your person, Virgo, just doesn't think that you're coming in. They, they don't think that, they don't see the chariot card. See how this person's looking the other way? You know, it's like you're coming up behind them. <laughs> It's almost like you're coming up behind them and all they're doing is feeling this emotion and feeling like, yeah, never going to happen. Not going to happen. Not in a million years. Not in whatever. All right. So let's see what your energy is here for the Three of Pentacles. This is hidden energy and so you really want someone with whom you can collaborate. And look at this. We get one and three is four. So the Four of Pentacles. All right, so it does show that you're holding back. <laughs> oh, Virgo. 
you want to show your person physically how much you adore them with passion. You want this Eight of Wands energy. It looks as though you haven't seen this person for a while, and so you want to come in sort of out of nowhere. You know, it's like one of those movies, you know, the, the mist separates and like the hero walks in, the conquering hero walks into the, the, the frame of the movie camera, but we'll see. <laughs> because we get the Knight of Wands facing the Queen of Wands, so Virgo, you're facing somebody who is a queen and you are a knight. There, that's a difference or disparity in terms of energy. All right, so let's see what the queen is. Oh, the queen has walked away. <laughs> she got tired of waiting around, so she's walked away for something more satisfying. All right, so spirit is saying you're going to have to go follow your queen. Hop on your horse. If you want your queen, you need to, you need to go after her because she made a decision that was head over heart. So we get the Libra Queen, we get Pisces energy, we get Libra energy. So your person is really very, um, very intellectual. You know, when we get the Libra and now we have Aquarius energy, your person is just detaching because they think it's what's healthy, it's what helps them remain the Queen of Wands. They really, your person really can't be pulled down into this energy of, uh, of any, this person doesn't do darkness, they just won't do it because they know, and Virgo, again, this could be you, very, it could be very ver vice versa, but your person knows that that's just a no-win situation. So they've turned their back to all of this. Your person is looking forward into their future. Let's see what are they, what's the outcome for your person here in this connection right now. Five of Cups energy. So both of you are really feeling a sense of sadness. You know, Five of Cups energy is feeling as though somebody owes you an apology. It's like they don't really see the cups that are standing, but they certainly see the ones that are knocked over. And your person just feels as though there's a lot of baggage that, you know, you'd have to move up. Both of you have sort of, in your own way, given up on this relationship. However, it's not really the case. Both of you just feel as though, well, it is what it is, and, you know, Virgo, you understand where you're at, but your person does not see it. They have their back turned to all this energy. They're looking into their future. Their future right now is feeling very sad. They have let go of you also. You know, they have, they're trying to move on. It's not an easy, you know, proposition to move on, but they are trying uh, because we see the release of, you know, old baggage, lightening the load because of sadness. It's too much to bear. So let's see what the energy is here. Let's clarify this with how you feel, Virgo, about what's happening. How does Virgo feel about what's happening? How does Virgo feel about what's happening in this reading? So how do you feel about all of this energy about your investment, your emotions. Oh, look at that. Now we have letting go. You're not really letting go. You know, you want to turn this, which is the inner, you know, your outcome energy. You are very desirous of ha being in this relationship again and not, not dealing with, well, not, this is about not giving up. This is about giving up. So what we're seeing here is that you don't want your person to give up on you. You are still in it to win it. You have not you have not dropped them, but they don't see it. Okay? They just don't see it. Okay. So what's the energy Virgo? The the 8 of coins and the 9 of cups. What do we have here? Oh, you want to go in some of that, Virgo said. Your person feels very much that they want you to come in and talk to them. They really haven't given up on you, okay? And and they really do want you to come in and talk to them. Okay, what else do they feel about all this energy of the Five of Swords? What is this energy of the Five of Swords? Let's see. Hermit energy. 
Okay, that's you, Virgo. They just feel as though you're off in your own little world and you're thinking about things and they are not expecting you to come along and talk to them. All right, so let's see why we have the, the yeah. There's no clarity. There's no clarity. Your person doesn't see that you're invested in them at all. They just don't see it. The Ace of, the Ace of Swords says that they don't necessarily think you've been honest. You, they don't think you've been straightforward. And they certainly don't have any clarity on the situation. And clarity is something that the Queen of Swords demands, okay? If she doesn't have clarity, she'll, she would be the one to shut down. She really would. She'll turn her back. Look at this, the so four of coins reversed. So your person never held back on their feelings. You held back in yours, but your person never held back. While you, the, your person thinks that you're a lightweight, they were never bored with you. When we get this card, we get this person being dissatisfied or bored. They never were, they just weren't. You know, but we also see that they're not willing to throw caution to the winds. Your person's not super open at this time. You know, they just, they feel as though you've had time to have this relationship and that since you have not stepped forward, you know, since you, since they feel as though there's sort of a punishment going on. Your person actually feels as though there's, this is a form of a silent argument. And look at this. So we, we drew all the reversals. Interesting. The three of coins. Your person doesn't feel as though you want to work things out. This is you wanting to work things out. They don't feel as though um, you're in it to win it. They feel as though this is a fight. Because when we get the queen of swords reversed, she's angry. She's bitter. There's a cruel aspect to the queen of swords reversed. And um, so your person feels that this is a continuation of this sort of, you know, energy where they got stabbed, you know, they feel as though, why are you making so much drama here? What is going on with you, Virgo? So your person feels pretty, still unraveled by that. The energy of the Knight of Pentacles reversed is that the horse has stopped walking forward. There's no progress. And let's see what else we have here. We have, oops. Oh, I like how this fell out. We have uh, your outcome card. Oh, wow. Okay. Honey, I'm home. The Two of Cups, the Empress, and the Queen of Cups. Virgo, speak up. Speak up soon. You don't want to let this energy, you don't want all this energy to take hold here. So your outcome card from your person is to really say that this is what you need to do. You need to come in, you need to claim the relationship fully, you need to, you know, sort of manifest this emotionally and tangibly. We have Taurus energy, so that's Earth sign energy. So your person wants a very grounded, loving relationship with you in which your emotions are shared. So, all right. I am going to take this to the extended. I feel like there's, uh, I want to see how the story unfolds. So I'm going to go to the extended at this time. And we're going to really look at, I'm going to look at your person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions in a Celtic. We're going to clarify, you know, what each of you think about each other. We're going to do a you versus them reading in terms of just your emotions, okay? So um, if you want to join me there, great. If not, uh, thank you. Cindy, you love from Chicago. Send some back and make a comment about the reading. It really, really helps the algorithm. It helps support the channel, and a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, Virgo.